Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Today I'm going to ask you to join me to be part of one challenge I saw on a 7 Plaza YouTube channel. If you don't know this, this YouTube channel, please go to have a look. 7 Plaza, uh, Margaret from 7 Plaza is posting amazing videos with so many ideas, so many tutorials. And it's really beautiful to watch her. And she does have now a 100 days challenge, which is totally amazing. And she recently created two of my projects and she mentioned it my my channel and it was so kind of her. And I decided I'm going to join her, uh, her challenge and I'm going to kind of take it from day one and continue with her to follow her with her challenge and try to do it as well. Uh, different will be my own challenge in this challenge. I'm gonna try to use every single video newspapers for creating the things she created. And I will see how that will go. I was thinking this maybe will be good as a practicing, uh, how to put things together as a starter for totally new beginners who doesn't have too many supplies and it will be a great challenge for me because I don't know how that will go. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna join today uh, Margaret from Seven Plaza Challenge 100 Days of Craft Projects and I'm gonna be starting with masterboard or collage sheet and for that I'm gonna be using newspapers and as my background paper I'm gonna be using this uh, wrapping paper. I do have wrapping paper all the time at home, so I'm gonna be using that. Go to have a look on Mar Margaret's channel. I know she mentioned channels where from she saw the idea to making collage sheets into book and leave them in that book till you will use them. Collage sheets are mostly using for making uh, pockets in your journals from those collage sheets or envelopes or uh, any kind of uh, separators between uh, between signatures. There is so many things you can create from collage sheets and that that's what we will create today. I'm gonna flip through to my newspaper, try to cut out a few things which I would like to use on my uh, master board or collage, collage paper and we will create. So I did fussy cut out all kind of text from my newspapers and uh, I kind of concentrated on the fonts and on the colors. I don't want to have it overloaded with so many colors and with so many pictures. I want to have there only uh, text and also, if is it possible, only two, three colors. So I choose uh, blueprints which they are here and there and then basic black and white print and I'm gonna start to glue these pieces on my back paper, this wrapping paper, this is just normal brown wrapping paper and on that I'm gonna create my collage sheet or masterboard creating something that you will like. If you're a person who likes so many colors then feel free to add to your masterboard, collage sheet, any kind of colors and you don't have to fussy cut them out with scissors to make uh, rectangles and uh, squares. Uh, you can just rip it on the pieces and glue it and feel totally free with what you're creating. Uh, I need to have some kind of control what I'm doing here. That's why I used my scissors. And this time I did fussy cut out all my images. Uh, I also created a few days ago journal using newspaper, kind of like organizer for tea or for some small ephemeras, which I am using in my journals. And there I just ripped the newspapers on the pieces. I didn't use my scissors. I just ripped the paper and that was totally okay. So it depends of what you would like to get in the end you choose the style of ripping or fussy cutting the papers and then of course also colors which you would like to have there just make sure you will like it 
just because I'm not comfortable with so many colors, it doesn't mean that you will have to do it monochromatic, or I think it's the right word, as I do here. Just enjoy the process of layering the papers and creating your own art. And also be prepared that newspaper uh, print, it's not totally stable. <laughs> so through the gluing your paper, you can end up with a little bit dirty hands. But I think it belongs to, <laughs> to craft anyway, to have sometimes dirty hands. So be prepared on that. The newspaper paper, it's not archival. Uh, but you can make it that way. Uh, it depends what you will use on the top of your collage sheet. If you will uh, kind of seal it with some uh, coat of good glue or uh, some acrylic uh, acrylic paint, not paint like colors, but acrylic medium. That way you can seal your work and it can, uh, it can, oops. It can stay beautiful for a longer time. There is always a way how to create from newspapers some wonderful art. No matter that it is just from newspapers. And if you are thinking to join our craft family and you Thing that you will actually like this type of craft and creation make sure you will invest the good things good glue which will do the job you want to uh, you want to have from that glue make sure you will choose the good things for you yourself do not do not make mistakes like i did i did both everything i saw i didn't even read you know, you know, labels and etiquettes on, <laughs> on products and then I end up with so many things I actually never used. So always think forward and make your research and think if you will actually use those things to protect yourself from overloading your craft space with things you will don't use. And I'm going to be neatly on the end of my first <coughs> newspaper collage. So I will have that base done. So I will have that base done here. And now I can start... Now I can start to put here and there also decorative elements, which I cut out from same newspapers. They had their kind of like uh, these type of uh, columns in, in little, little circles, which I actually can use. And also more of blue color. So I did fussy cut out these circles and I also fussy cut out this with follow us. Yeah, sorry for my hands. <laughs> so these blue strips I can put here and there to make my collage sheet a little bit more interesting. I do have also this strip because it does have blue color. So I try to choose when I was fussy cutting also pieces where there will be something useful for me. It doesn't have, a, have to have full text. I just like the color. So here I'm going to be kind of helping myself to get some, uh, some nice look of my collage sheet with the columns I did fussy cut out just because of the color. And now I am ruining my, 
my little sheet. <laughs> yeah, be careful with newspaper paper. It's very fragile. So I'm going to put one here. One here. I think one over there. And I do have here this one that can be right here. And this can be right here. And this can be right here. Yes. Right here. And that's gonna be my a little newspaper collage if you like to add their uh, fabrics or laces maybe you do have some old dress which you know you will don't want to wear anymore and you would like to use that dress to decorate your collage sheet just do it feel free to do it there is no right or wrong way how to do your masterboard or your collage sheet. Use what you have and what you actually want to use. You can hand stitch here and there some decorations. It doesn't have to be just paper. Your collage sheet or masterboard can be actually your own art with any kind of supplies. I'm gonna wash my hands. So I did wash my hands and uh, I'm here with these two types of labels. These are labels which I bought for my uh, for my spice in the kitchen and uh, I'm kind of hoping that many of us have some kind of labels for kitchen, you know, for supplies, for food, maybe for... Uh, fridge or freezer you know for when we are storing our meal so i'm kind of hoping that many of us have the labels so i'm gonna be because they do have actually blue color uh, blue yeah b blue frame around so they will be going really nicely with this background so i'm gonna add here and there these labels And create another extra decoration on my collage board or collage sheet or master board. Really, there is uh, so many words you can use, so many, so many names you can use for this type of gluing paper. And this is how my newspapers collage or masterboard looks like. Uh, last night I took a very strong tea brush and I brushed the strong tea over my board and then I let it dry through the night and it does make these beautiful splatters all over of my uh, collage sheet and I do believe it will make so gorgeous uh, embellishments once I will start to cut it on pieces or uh, make envelopes and pockets out of this sheet so this is my sharing for today i hope you did enjoy it uh, i hope you will find some inspiration in this video please go to have a look on margaret channels i will link her channel down below to make sure you will find her because it's a really amazing channel you will find there so much inspiration for craft so thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you want to see what I will do next from newspapers, come to have a look, I think, tomorrow, <laughs> hopefully. And have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.